Lass uns ein paar Hobby-Dingen fallen. Welcome back to my channel. Nam Toon, to say you don't kill me. <laughs> I've been very excited about this solo release. First of all, because the entire concept and the entire physical album really speaks to me and how everything is kind of built as well. I was like, that's so Namjoon-like and it feels very personal and it's touching in a way. I was very amazed by all the collaborations we are going to get, so I'm definitely looking forward to the rest of the album too. I'm sure it's going to be like visually super pleasing and you know how much I love like a great cinematography but a very simple cinematography as well and I have a feeling it's going to go into that so I'm really really excited. I should not cry. I have no clue what to expect so yeah we'll see. This already. I'm not a firework person but it's alright. It's, it's beautiful. The cinematography is beautiful though, truly. And the lyrics I don't even want to speak about it because I'm gone. This is like the sunset situation, the very awful thing with the voice of like a lady that's The visual is an artwork to itself and that's what I love about when it's very simple but it's very like elaborated in a in a visual way. Let me die, please. <laughs> And who tell me I like, gotta be a someone I took the good or told on grass who loves me Mine is so good Good, she died in shit Your tech on night, she coming down How I ain't watching Time and people test, I'll do it for two So then that's like your one or not Now you fucking die, I got to the number How I'm saying, I'm not dead, I'm not dead 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 What is it is, I return someday, I'll be like, the lyric really punched me in like, oh. <sighs> Too many good guys going on currently, so I cannot. Oh. 
Was I even reacting at this point? Check out the lyrics if you haven't, because I think the power lies in the lyrics, definitely. I love the visual, it's the kind of visual that I adore. It's very smooth, it's very put together in an artistic way. I knew Namjoon would go that way. I wasn't expecting less, I would say. I'm very much pleased with the entire like visual of it. The song, it kind of... <laughs> Kind of gives a throwback feeling, if that makes sense. And the fact that he's repeating all the time, like when you're not feeling yourself or when you don't feel yourself, and I'm just like, the lyrics are so freaking personal that it hurts. But at the same time, I'm really, really happy because I was missing them sharing more of their struggles and and things in their raps and such, especially um, in the songs like Dynamite and Bother and Permission to Dance, like they did previously, but these songs were more like feel-good songs, more shaped to fit like Western standards more than like sharing a personal experience. And you can fight me on that, I will not change my opinion. It's nice to see Namjoon open up and I think that's something they have done in the past and they have done less in the last two years because of the pressure around them so I think now is kind of like the, the best time for them to just like put the things on the table and be like what do I want to share what do I want to express in songs and I think he has done it very perfectly I don't get emotional again <laughs> I don't like when I'm being a mess because I cannot put my thoughts together. I hope he's going to get a lot of love for his album. He has so many great solo songs that are really touching and kind of rip your heart out, if that makes sense. And I have the feeling that this one is no different. It was painful, but I was happy to see him go that path because I know that's just him and how he wants to do it. Sincerity was definitely appreciated and definitely touched my heart. My reaction was very silent. I hope it was okay. I hope you enjoyed this reaction. If you did, don't hesitate to give the thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And otherwise, I thank you so much for watching. Now, see you next time. Bye.